Nobody was directed by Ilya Nashula and stars Bobo Dankud, Connie Nielsen, Christopher Lloyd, and a few others. And it tells the story of a seemingly ordinary man leading his ordinary life until one day something happens that brings out his extraordinary side. Hey guys, so nobody. <laughs> um, a fitting title for this movie about a, what seems like a really ordinary man leading a very, very mundane life. I should say a life like most of us, you know, every day he does the same thing. Get up, puts out the garbage, somehow always misses the garbage truck, you know. I can relate to that one. He goes to work, he comes home, he has his family. Everything is just routine to the point of boredom. Until one night, some people break into his home and it triggers him, so to speak. And I know it sounds, when you say it like that, it sounds like nobody is this deep drama, you know, probably about a guy going through this existential thing. And on some level, there is some of that, but nobody is just a fun action movie. The likes of which I haven't seen since John Wick. So let's get into it. And I'll start by saying, Bravo Dunkirk in this role, it just, it took me back to like Liam Neeson when you first, first ever saw him uh, do something amazing, which I think would be taken, do something action oriented, I should say. Because this is not an actor that I think of when I think action hero, you know, it, he's not going to come to mind at all. And yet, dude nails it. He is so believable in this role. He's so good. His dry wit, his dark humor, it all works very well. And it all works with the writing and the, the way this entire thing is presented. And if you're getting vibes of John Wick from this, that's to be expected because it's actually written by the same man who was re who wrote and is responsible for the screenplays for all the John Wick movies. So while I was watching it, I actually was wondering if this is can, uh, if this movie, if the events in this story takes place in the same universe. It doesn't, sadly, but I would totally watch that. It, it would be so much fun to see these two. Uh, meet up because he also has a mysterious past you know the way it was when we first met John Wick and we didn't know anything about him we just knew uh, he was this man that everybody feared for some reason there is a lot of that here you know and so you get this idea of who the hell was this guy he said he was an auditor you know and I'm not giving anything away all of this is presented in the trailer I promise you um, so yeah, he said he's an auditor. Uh, basically, he was the person the government would send out when your account was due, so to speak. You know, it again brings up Ben Affleck and the accountant. All these movies with these characters that you wouldn't normally think of that person in that role. And yet somehow they nail it. But all that said, guys, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's one of those films that I think it's best if you go into it knowing absolutely nothing about it. The fight sequences are choreographed so well. Again, what's to be expected from the minds behind John Wick. But and uh, there's a lot of gun stuff here, but it is definitely a lot of hand-to-hand -hand stuff that I was really digging. Uh, there's a... How should I put it? It's not it's not trying to be John Wick. It's not that at all. This is a it's similar in it to, in the sense that this is these are both two men that have very, very dark past. But at the same time, the character here, I think his name is Hutch, Hutch Manzel. Hutch is definitely a guy who, while he misses that life at some point, you know, he does miss it on some level. But she's a guy who, unlike John Wick, who has really wanted to get away from that life completely and was forced back into it. Hutch is a man who feels stuck in his day-to-day -day life. He, uh, he loves his family. He loves his, uh, his wife and all of that. But he's definitely a man who you can sense misses the days when people feared him when he could let loose, when, you know, he could get it out of his system, so to speak. And we, the viewers, we, the audience, you get to enjoy that. There's something very cathartic about just watching somebody rain hell on, on the world 
with zero consequence, you know. It's the same feeling I get when I watch Hulk smash the crap out of stuff, you know. I'm like, yeah, because, you know, I wish I could do that and not go to prison. That said, guys, uh, this is a really fun movie. I honestly, I don't have much, uh, I don't have any problems with it. If it's anything, if it's any negatives, it would be that it's, it's very similar to John Wick in, in a lot of areas and a lot of to a lot of tones, you know, of the film. It doesn't really do anything really new, but at the same time, it doesn't stop it from being a very fun action movie and one that you could just sit back and relax and enjoy the hell out of it. The dark comedy works. The fight sequences are so well choreographed. The directing is good. The editing is tight. The pacing is sharp. I loved all of it. And I'm giving, oh, and the soundtrack. I absolutely love the soundtrack. It, it's, uh, it's older songs for sure, but it all worked for me. So I'm giving nobody a seven and a half out of 10. I enjoyed this a lot and it, it pulled me out of, I've been watching a lot of meh movies lately. It hasn't been that much out there to really impress me, you know, so I was glad to watch something that finally made me sit up and pay attention. So nobody gets a seven and a half out of ten. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've seen this movie, let me know what you thought of it. And if you would like to see maybe Hutch meet up with John Wick. No, don't do that, kitty. You're shaking the camera. Don't do that. Kai. <laughs> My cat is trying to tell me he wants to go outside. So let me know what you thought of this movie. And if you like this video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It's always appreciated. If you're new and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, thank you. And you can click on my face when it pops up right about there. And that's going to be it for this one. So yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Until the next one, guys. Bye-bye.